Broadcasting live from an airstream somewhere in Tornado Alley, bringing you the people, places, and stories from the Panhandle to the Red River. This is your Only in Oklahoma show. And welcome to the show today. We're going to find out the best chicken fry in Oklahoma. And after the break, we're going to be tinkering around. (laughs) You're such a dad. In Midwest City, I'm Brett. And I am Harley. Yes, you are. Yes, I am a dad. You are a father. Father of five. What is the difference in a dad and a father? Um, Child support payments. (laughs) (laughs) But no, seriously, I... I struggle a little bit with the dad jokes because I'm something I'm bad at telling a joke, period. That's not true. You're actually really good at telling a joke, but the problem is that you're so... I'm such a storyteller, the setup is... No, you judge your jokes based on your comedy icons, <laughs> comedy heroes. Yeah, I'll, go with, so that. I'll go with that. If it's not gaffigan level yeah then you're like oh it's dumb i'm dumb i'm gonna go kick well, myself well no I, I just can't i do have trouble executing a joke mm. like tell okay. you overthink jokes. i probably way over jokes. you're probably right which is fine but anyway i'll leave some of the i'll leave the comedy gold dad joke edition hey you you have the mantle you're the you're the work dad i'm <laughs> the work dad you're everyone's daddy you want to be everyone's daddy harley so we did uh just try yeah a brand new pizza of the month yes at ben and at jay's ben and jay's pizzeria and i thought it was pretty good it's not it, look it what it's not perfected yet we got it pre it, pre-release it's not dessert for breakfast which you know i always talk about we're always talking about having dessert for breakfast breakfast and how good it is dessert for breakfast have we talked about dessert for breakfast things that we love no. I breakfast love des- for dinner is one that i love listen i can eat dessert with every meal hmm. but this pizza pie had dinner brinner bun- brunch it lunch thanksgiving on a pizza crust i will say yes biggest takeaway for me no i'm good no, i'm not going to do it because it that's your your first takeaway. You go first, and then I'll just kind of I'll work off your list. My takeaway is no, from... you, your pizza. Your first, your first, your initial. I went in whole hog and ate half a piece before I really decided what I did and didn't like. Um, I don't know that you're in a position to say anything negative, negative or positive about it because if it, it was a pre-release, yeah, it was a pre-release. So we don't want to. They say haven't anything. done anything. I will say they they talked a few times about tweaking it. Yes. I liked it. No, it was good. There were some things that I I would have preferred. Yeah. Some, Listen. Some variations, but they I, they weren't done with it and they were they were asking us our opinions. And I think honestly, if people knew the the depths of depravity that we've been in where we would have probably made something similar out of pecans, fettuccine noodles and bread heels. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. It was it's kind of a stoner's like if guys were getting high and with they got left at home because well, they didn't have a car and their parents brought them leftovers and they wanted to make a pizza, that's kind of what it reminded me of. But well constructed. I, that's not saying it looked like somebody would got high and was like, "Let's put yeah, taters no, no, on no, no. it." Yeah, no. It it just it just it's, it was just this a flavor explosion of different things. A flavor explosion. Yeah, those potatoes exploded in my mouth, man. I took a bite, and it was just like, I was good. It was good. You um, have a video that yeah. either has recently been released or is soon to be it's released. It's soon to be released. If it hasn't by the time this is has aired, it will soon thereafter. And Mainly because I don't know if I have anything else yet to put out. <laughs> Well, and speaking of videos, <laughs> yeah, you have done a recent video on Chuck Steaks in Midwest City. In Midwest City, absolutely not in Oklahoma City, not in Oklahoma City, but in Midwest City on Midwest Boulevard. Now, hang on a sec. In Midwest City, in Midwest City, not to be confused with Oklahoma City or the OKC oh, Metro, the OKC Metro area. Yes, none of those things. None of them. Just Midwest. City. Just Midwest City. It's not the metro. It's yeah. So during the month of November, we we have set a couple of goals for ourselves. One, 
we we want to make sure that we're talking about local family run businesses. Yeah. And you recently did a video. I did. That kind of ties all of this together. Yes. Chuck Steaks, Midwest City. Yes, sir. They are a local family owned company. Absolutely. And we are also going to through internet votes. Yes. We are going to find the ultimate Chicken fried steak sandwich. Or, and or, and or, meal. That's the thing. Ah, How do we do that? No, it's got to be a sandwich. Dude, it's got to be a sandwich? I think it's got to okay. be a sandwich. you got to pick one. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because you, if you go with the meal, then it's like the steak was okay, the potatoes were bad. You know what I mean? There's a chance that some... You want the steak to be I mean, the, the highlight. I think if you, if you cross dreams on the chicken fried steak yeah. dinner versus the chicken fried steak sandwich, 100%. then you're comparing apples and oranges. So we need, we need, we're on live as well, we need a list, someone to go through and get the list of chicken fried steak sandwiches. I need, what, 10? What do we need? What are we doing? 10? Are we doing six? What are we I doing? I thought we were doing six. I thought we were kind of doing uh, just kind of like a, a sweet, bracket. A sweet. 16 bracket. Yes. We need 16 of the best chicken fried steak sandwiches in the state of Oklahoma. So whoever wants to volunteer, go through, get the list of the sandwiches, not steak dinners, but chicken fried steak sandwiches. We are going to have the sweet 16 of chicken fried steak sandwich supreme. <laughs> I do think we need to know, we need to figure out the length of time for the online voting. Yeah. And we'll, we're just going to randomly select the 16 and match them up yeah. randomly and then put a vote out. This versus this. This is versus this until we're down to the final two, right? That was- I think, and I think, kind of looking, we can do a po- we can do polls on live. We can do polls on live, but we can do polls on, on uh, Twitter. We Twitter, can do polls we can do, on yeah. Facebook. On YouTube, so we're gonna have to figure out where our primary clearinghouse is. Yeah, it's probably gonna have to be Facebook. You think it has the biggest number? It does have the biggest number, the highest, and it's your fault. Sample size. It's your fault that Facebook has the biggest sample size because you're not telling your mom about us. Anyway, we try to tell you. We try to tell you to tell your mom about us, but um, but it's, it's a tough job. It is. But back to the show. I think this episode is kind of a compendium to your video, and we're kind of killing two birds with one stone with the local family business and the chicken fried steak. Absolutely. But, dude, Chuck Steak Sandwiches in Midwest City. Dude, it's it's good. They have a loyal following. Very loyal. One of the most viewed videos that we've got anywhere. Yes. I'd say it's top five. Really? That's why? It's just crazy to me that people got rabid about a chicken fried steak. Across the board, I think it's top five. I think Tacoville is probably still reigning champ. Right. Followed by some spooky Norman videos. It's crazy. But I, I think they're in the top five. It's crazy the fandomonium for fried food. Honestly, I think that's one of the things, as far as Chuck Steaks goes, it's one of the things that sets them apart. The, yeah. The loyalty of the people. Uh huh. When discussing Go the ahead. loyalty yeah. of people when discussing Chuck Steaks, dude, it it runs deep. People are very passionate about that place. Well, you know what? And not to take anything away from Chuck Steaks, but if you go through the list, if you went most passionate playlist, Chuck's, Del Rancho, Taco Bell is a, it's an anomaly. Mm-hmm. I mean, places that have a little bit of, little bit of nostalgia behind it gives something. I'm, you're not you're not going to hear people split hairs over whether or not McDonald's fries are you know who has better fries the 59th Street location or the 74th location of McDonald's. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it, it it's where you shared and lie made where you had your first onion ring. Those places are the places that people want to talk and complain about. I can see that, but I also think that the location itself. Do we need to get you some espresso? <laughs> <laughs> no, but. Go ahead, location. I do think that the location itself has a level of nostalgic charm mm-hmm. to it that makes it stand out. And there were some debates. To me, it's a hidden gem if I can't find it right off the beaten, right on the beaten path. Right. 
if I got to turn a corner and it's, you know, look out for the mailbox and it, it's a hidden gem to me. Mm-hmm. If you've been there your whole life, I get it. It's not. But it was a hidden gem to me. I barely found it the first time. Yeah, I think that's really, I think that really just boils down to people wanting to argue on the internet. Oh, yeah, 100%. Not a question about it. Because even if you, I mean, if you lived in Midwest City your whole life, then yeah, you're you're going to know Chuck's. Yeah. But if you're from a mile and a half away in Oklahoma City, yeah, you may have never heard of it. Yeah. In the it, Oklahoma City metro. Right. In the metro part of the city. <laughs> How many? Can we talk about that? Can we just talk about defining metro area? I, I, I don't know why you angered so many people on the internet when you referred to Chucks as being in the OKC metro area. Was I wrong? Apparently, you were dead wrong. Yeah. And Midwest City is an island unto itself. An island in the stream. So, why don't you give us a recap of your Chuck's experience, and then we can talk about the menu and sure. what else they got. Um, Chuck's, all intents and purposes, really, and I hate to say it, is kind of a Del Rancho cosplaying as Chuck. Wow, that's harsh. Not bad. It's not because it was at one time a Del Rancho. It's kind of, apparently, again... We've had quite a history lesson with Chuck Steaks. Mm -hmm. Um, You would think that we're not even from Oklahoma in some in some comment threads, but apparently it's been it has been a Del Rancho before. It's been a Chuck since, but it's it switched hands and switched identities a few times. So a lot of the same menu items you might see at a Del Rancho, at a Chuck House, at places that are synonymous with the chicken fried steak, which really aren't very many. There's not as many ch- chicken fried steak restaurants as you might think. There's a chicken fried steak sandwich on a lot of different menus, but as far as it being the a place for they, chicken they, fried a, steak, the marquee uh, item, it's not. They do one thing that you are highly in favor of. Okay, what is that? I am not so much Miracle Whip. You're going to say have it. Miracle yes, Whip. Yes, on... Miracle Whip. It only goes on a chicken fried steak sandwich. It's literally listed on the menu as yeah. served with Miracle Whip. Another place, not to, and I want to give a shout out real quick to Hamburg Crystal and Hamburger King Tagger in this. She's a pretty, she's a big fan of ours. She's a really big fan of ours. You can get Miracle Whip at Hamburger King and Shawnee. If you're, I'm sorry, if you make Miracle Whip an optional condiment, you get four out of five stars just for having Miracle Whip on it. Anyway, so I ordered, I went ahead and went with the Chuck Steak sandwich. Mm-hmm. Miracle Whip, everything on it, onion you rings. You can't even say the word miracle, the words Miracle Whip right. Miracle Whip. You say it with an extra A. Miracle Mar- rip Whip. Miracle Whip. It's Miracle. Mar- it's America. It, it's a miracle. <laughs> it's a Miracle Whip. I disagree. Miracle Whip should be on nothing. Make chicken fried steak great again with Miracle Whip. Anyway, um, so or the sandwich got some onion rings and also... If you've got a limeade on the menu, uh, yeah, it's a wrap. Um, and I got the garlic sauce. I've had people go and get it since and tell me that the garlic sauce, is, it slaps. Food was cooked just right. Onion rings weren't over. Because a lot of times you can overcook an onion ring. You can overcook a, a tot. You can leave them in the basket a little too long and they get a little too mm-hmm. a little too crispy. No, the, the, the consistency was there. The flavor was there. The flavor. The, the nostalgia was there. It, it reminded me, even though I'd never, I'd never been to Chuck's before. I'd been to Del Rancho. It was like going to a Del Rancho. Yeah, I'm not. A, I, I like, I probably, but I like drive-ins. Though. I probably need a Del Rancho refresher. Honestly, been a, been a minute. It's been a minute since I've been to a Del Rancho. And apparently, not all Del Ranchos are created equal. I did see a lot of that on the internet. A lot of people saying this one is way better than any Listen, other place in the state. I had a statistician look up our top list. They had a Del Rancho on there. You want to know where the Del Rancho was that was re- highly, the most highly recommended? Tishomingo. Tahlequah. Yeah, it was close. Close. I mean, it's it's all over the board. It but is. They, there's a couple of glaringly obvious things about the list that I've seen. Del Rancho was only on there a few times. Kindles and Noble wasn't on there was not on the list. Yeah. Which was wild. Mm-hmm. 
So yeah, I mean Chuck's. I like I said, I I have zero complaints. Great service, friendly, hand breaded, hand breaded, which is I mean makes all the difference. It does make the difference. It's really a, your your chicken front steak's only as good as sure your steak. It's got to be the right Chuck, but it's got to have the breading can't fall off when I bite into it. I don't need a a a, a lap full of breading, mm-hmm. and it and it could happen. Maybe. Well, they have a couple of other things on the menu that I think are required, so I'm glad that they have them there. They have a, a chicken sandwich. Oh, yeah. Chuck's chicken sandwich. Hey. Which is the tender chicken breast, again, hand-breaded, deep-fried, served with mayo, not Miracle Whip. Yeah. But the one that I think is it flies under the radar, the pork cutlet. Sandwich. Ooh. You ever had a pork chicken? Cut- yes, chicken fried oh steak my. style pork cutlet. Those are awesome. On a bun with mayo, not Miracle Whip, lettuce and tomato. It's like a BLT where the bacon has been replaced with a chicken fried something. Yes. And if somebody could figure out a way to make a chicken fried bacon lettuce tomato, I will change religions for that. You mean you you'll not be Muslim anymore? I don't know. I, whatever it takes, whatever. He's not. He's not. He's one of us. Take that out. Of it. <laughs> uh, but what I mean is by that is he he likes bacon. He can eat bacon. I'll I'll switch to back to Catholicism. Like Listen, I have a story real a quick. Lutheran. I had a cousin. I still have a cousin. We're not as close as we used to be. If you're out there, you know who you are. Anyway, I had a cousin when we were kids. He was raised Seventh Day Adventist. Mm-hmm. So a lot of their dietary restrictions, most of their dietary restrictions, if not all of them, are religious, have a religious impact. Mm-hmm. One of which, no pork. So he would come over. We would go to the flea market and get homemade pork rinds. And he'd get to sneak a few pork rinds. But he wasn't supposed to eat pork, and he did it. And that his punishment for doing that is not talking to me anymore. So there you go, <laughs> there you go, bud. Fifty years later, fifty years later, still not talking to me, man. Uh, apparently, they do a mean cheeseburger over there at Chuck's, though. I can't. They have a chili cheese coney. I, I don't can't. know why any of this stuff is on the menu. To be completely honest, if I'm going to have a chicken fried steak sandwich, nothing else needs to be on the menu. You, I just want a chicken fried steak sandwich. You can't have. A cheeseburger at a chicken fried steak place. You can't get chicken strips. The only people allowed to get a chicken strips at a Mexican restaurant is my three and four year old. That's the only reason they're there. That's it. Yes. I don't want to. Man, you ought to try the grilled cheese at Swadley's. Dude, get out of here. <laughs> Go away. They also have uh, chili cheese conies. Yeah. Made with Schwab's hot dogs. Schwab's. Best hot dog. Best hot dog on the planet is a Schwab's dog. Best chili on the planet is Schwab's block chili. You just unwrap it and put it in the skillet. I think somebody's probably gonna have to, somebody's gonna end up fighting us about this. No. Best chili is Schwab's. It is. It melts right to your belt. I'm telling you, it's good. It's good. They do serve their ranch dressing, by the way, in the, pints. Do they really? Yes. So if you like the garlic dressing or the ranch. At Chuck's, you can buy a pint of it. You could probably buy a gallon if you know the right people. Yeah, I would probably go for it, but I didn't get the ranch. I did get the um, the garlic sauce, though. Highly, highly recommend the garlic sauce. Okay, we do need to discuss something that's on the menu. If you didn't try this, then it's going to make me sad. What? The tater kegs. Didn't, but I've been told you should have tried the. You should have you should have tried the tater cakes. After I get done eating it, I should have tried the tater cakes. Giant tots stuffed with cheese, bacon, and chives. Ooh-wee. Served with the ranch or side of ranch. Yeah, Dude, it sounds amazing. It is amazing in theory because I didn't try it. Dang it! Yeah, I so, get them wrong. We get them wrong occasionally. We miss something. we miss them. But uh, honestly, I think they definitely belong on the list. Absolutely. And we really need to know from you, from you, who else needs to be on this list. Yeah. I'm not 100% sure when we're going to do the chicken fried showdown. No, I don't I don't either. We haven't even got that far yet. But it's coming soon. It's coming. And we are going to find the definitive king of chicken fried steak sandwiches. And it's 
It's a thankless job. And it may, in fact, be Chuck's. It could be Chuck's. In Midwest City. In on Midwest, Midwest City. Bo- on Midwest Boulevard. Yes. And if you want to find out more about Chuck's, yeah. it's chucksok.com. Or follow us. God, we, I mean, we've cleaned house with Chuck. Yes. Houses. Well, coming up after the break, we're headed back to Midwest City. Outside of the metro. Outside of the metro. Stick around. Well, today's show is brought to you by our friends at Friends of Nakoma Park. You know, we went to that Bites of EOC fundraiser a few months back. And we did. Uh, we ate a metric. I don't know if I've ever eaten that much food. We, we ate a metric charity ton of food. <laughs> that was a great event. We ate, a, man, for the money. Oh, yeah. For the money, it was. You're not going to find a better value for food, but it only happens once a year. And why I don't know if you can eat well, enough calories to again, sustain yourself for a year. We could talk about it, but why more communities aren't doing it? But I'll tell you why they are. You know, they're looking to turn a, that underdeveloped sixty-acre park uh, into an exciting, fun park for the community, including like soccer fields, walking uh, trails, walking trails, dog parks, pavilions, the whole nine yards. And man, they made a heck of a dirt had a heck of a dent already. They have, and they've got events throughout the year. Uh, they just did their trunk or treat. Yep. Uh, we went to the Bites of EOC. Uh huh. Coming up very shortly, though, starting on November 30th, yeah. their Christmas tree lighting ceremony and the downtown shopping event starts. It, it's kicking off. It should be a blast. It should be a blast. You know, how much money they've raised so far? I don't know the total amount. I know during the Bites of EOC, they raised $20,000. $20,000. Yes. That's a lot of mini sandwiches yes lots of bites <laughs> it was a lot, a of, lot bites. of bites and worth every penny worth every single penny if you want to get involved it's simple head over to facebook.com slash friends of nakoma park it's that easy help them out now back to a community that we love we do love midwest city it's military town usa it is. It has some really neat backstory. Uh-huh. Although I did read somewhere on the internet that it's not part of the Oklahoma City Metro. It's not. It's not a part. Of, it's not part of the Metro. It's its own. What, what do they call that? It's it's its own municipality. Yes. But it was originally built during World War II as a housing area for defense workers at Tinker Air Force Base. I kind of knew that um, when I was researching researching places that weren't. In the OKC metro area. Do you know why it's called Midwest City? Oh, I think I knew and then I forgot. Be- according to the internet. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. It is called Midwest City because when the U.S. government funded it, it was in the middle of the country. Oh, okay. Oh, so it has nothing to do with its location in the in Oklahoma City per se. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's kind of, well, it's, it's kind, kind of in the mid- middle. It's kind of in the middle, yeah. It is. I don't know if it would technically be west. Yeah. But mid, I get. Yeah, okay. Hmm. The thing that surprised me is the amount of economic impact that Midwest City has over the entire state because of Tinker Air Force Base. Yeah, there's some big infrastructure connected to Tinker Air Force Base. Not a question. It is one of the largest military bases in the United States, plays a critical role in national defense. And again, like I said, with the number of people that work there, I think it's more than 25,000 civilian and military employees. Jeez, that's a lot. Yeah. Can you imagine what it it would be like if we didn't have Tinker here? That'd be wild. It would be weird. It would be weird. I guarantee you you wouldn't have that much of an economic impact from Walmart. No. And another interesting side note about Tinker itself, it is the largest single-site employer in the state. Really? The largest employer that is in one spot. Oh, yeah, because they moved Dayton to Mexico and got rid of GM. and Yeah, that makes sense now. Yeah. But did you know that Tinker Air Force Base was named in honor of a general from World War II? I did not know that. Yes, General Major General Clarence L. Tinker of Pawhuska, Oklahoma, lost his life leading a flight of LB-30 Liberators on a long-range strike against Japanese forces on Wake Island during the early months of World War II. That's crazy talk. It's crazy talk? 
I was trying to, and no, it's not crazy talk. It's it's something. It's it's random words that well, you can put together on the internet. It is random words. Um, how many things do you know that are named after an actual hero? Very few. Yeah, it's it's rare. It's rare. There aren't. We need more hero. We don't have any modern day heroes. You were gonna do it. What was I gonna say? No, what I was gonna say is we don't. <laughs> and you're gonna go yeah but we actually do need a few more <laughs> like honestly that ah. that doesn't get thrown around very often no it does in our modern day it does and when when somebody does something heroic we tend to downplay it we as do. a society we do it anymore especially yeah like, i think the closest we've got to it right now is john wick probably <laughs> like, or for kids mr beast you know what i mean yeah, like the, even the the rank of a hero has changed. It, you know, when we were kids, it was people like this or uh, John Wayne. Now it's you know Keith Lee on TikTok. You know what I mean? Like the 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 way we measure heroism and success and celebrity, and it's kind of weird now. Everything's weird now. Well, I think that some some feedback that I would like to hear is if we're anybody's hero. Here in the state for what we we gotta be tourism. somebody's hero. I feel like a hero. I'm a hero to a three and four year old. Honestly, boys. honestly, if if somebody said, "Oh my God, you guys are my hero," yeah, I'd wear a cape every day, one hundred percent. Goodness gracious! We do have some feedback though that we want to touch base on. Oh sure, some YouTube feedback. Okay, we have a new follower on YouTube, Big Homie Four Twenty. I wonder what he does. He's probably a home constructor or home co- a home builder. Yeah, in the four twenty prefix. Probably, yeah. He I, does I'm just big homes. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But he said, in reference to our Eagle One Pizza video, he said the pizza looks great, and he really appreci- appreciates the review and gave us a shout out from Broken Arrow. Really? Yes, and. He has promised to give us all of the Broken Arrow secret spots Spill, to find Grub. Spill the Broken Arrow, arrow Broken Arrow tea, big homie, 420. Where's all them spliff spots at, 420? Because we know exactly. Your address isn't 420 North Broken, big homie Boulevard. It could be. It's not. <laughs> He lives in a high-rise apartment. <laughs> apartment 420. Oh, my God. Well, if you want to leave us feedback, it's pretty simple. Do like he did. Do like they do. Or do like you should do. Hit us up on our email at onlynokshow at gmail.com. We would love to hear from you. We're always looking for suggestions of how we can do things better, how we can do things worse. Because, hey, good publicity, bad publicity, we will take every single bit of it. If you want to be our hero, though, yeah, the number one thing that I like is when you go to one Tell of the places em. that we recommended. Tell them. You say that Harley and Brett from the Only an OK Show told you to be there. Yes. It's the it, to be, it's it's the biggest form of flattery. It does make my day every time it, it happens. It somebody does. says, dude, somebody somebody just came in and ordered the whole menu because you guys recommended us. We have, and they're like, we only have one thing on the menu, but they ordered it. <laughs> uh, but yes, totally. Do the right thing. Do the only thing. The only an okay show. New episodes every week. New content all the time. I'm Brett. I'm Harley, and we're out of here. Peace. We know, golly, it feels like forever ago that we went to our taste of EOC. Yes. With friends of Nacoma Park. Why? Oh, come on, dude. We're in a mouth of something. I got really get rid of the mint. Ah, you know, we need the total of how much they raise. I didn't want to know that. It's on there. Nacoma Park. Nonprofit. Sleigh bells ringing. Sleigh bells ring. Are you listening? In the beautiful side, happy night, walking in the railing, and then parse, sparse. I don't, why are you doing the thing with the noise? What does parse? Um, parson is a religious title. No, it says,
We can um, we can build a snowman. Pretend that Parson Brown. Mm-hmm. Why would why would you want to pretend that a snowman was a religious? An you ordained and Anglican cleric. He can marry people. So if we're gonna get married by a, st- a woman would. Yes. A woman would build an ordained minister to be in They're church. typically in charge of a small parish. We can pretend that he is Parson Brown. You can do the job when you're in town. Okay. Dude with the thing. Put it down. Uh, all that, all the singing and stuff, that's the thing? Yes. It, it sounds like lightning in the recording. I think we've lost it. We've lost no one. Well, I can bre- if, if anyone's in there right now. Hit like 50,000 times, just yeah. so Brett... Won't. Well, I can't tell. I'm scrolling to the end of the internet to find how much friends of they had On their Facebook page. 20,000. I'm scrolling. I believe they made it to 20,000. They do not say if they exceeded. Silver bell, silver bell. Okay. Harley's being salty on the internet. Ready? Yes. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. That dang dog thinks he's a wolf. All right. Monster. Proud sponsor of dialysis. <laughs> <laughs> Strokes. Brought to you by energy drinks. There's probably a little <laughs> truth to that. <laughs> hey, it's sugar free. Yeah, but look at the rest of the ingredients in there, will you? All right. Top five energy drinks. Go. <laughs> man, that smells good, man. That smells like tribal herbs. It's sage. That is the ultimate. Like if there was a tribal herb hierarchy, hierarchy, it's sage, and then it's somewhere at the bottom, it's cilantro. Um, you're like a kid though. You gotta keep lighting it. You just want to play at the fire. I was just trying to get it going enough that just it would stick play, around. Play at the fire. All right, sir. You ready? I'm ready. Where are you going? Okay. I'm dipping lemonade. All right. Let's fire this baby up and see what she's got. Three, two, one. Welcome to the show. Today we're going to fuck ga 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 go gee gee gee. All right, three, two, one, and now the world premiere of the only an OK show on MTV. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, and welcome to the show. Today we're yeah. All right, let's try it again from the top. From the top. I'm a professional. Damn it. Three, two, one, and welcome. <laughs> Wait, <coughs> were you? Are you? St- Inhaling the say Were you trying to get a poltergeist out of your sinuses? What are you doing over there? <laughs> Tips went down the wrong pipe. <laughs> it, it did actually go down the wrong pipe, literally and figuratively. Three, two, one. And welcome to the show, Dete. Dete? What did you say? I'm a professional. I've done this for years. You have. You've messed up every this single one of our intros. This is not a challenge. It was an actor for 75 years. Three, two, one. And welcome, god darn it! Alright, three, two, one. And welcome to the show. Today we're going to find out the best chicken fry in Oklahoma and after the break. We're tinkering around in Midwest City, still. <laughs> and I'm telling you, we know what's up. We're going to do that again, because I don't know, why are we tinkering around in Mid- Midwest City? We're talking about that in the thing. So we're doing checks after the break. We're doing the chicken fry championship. We're opening the show with that. Dude. Oh, I didn't look. Okay. Three, two, one. 